Hey everyone, here's a mod I've been working on for some time. It's a weapon and spell randomizer for Dark Souls 3, and it's stuffed with features and options. How it works is it checks the swap rate you set in the config, and changes your first right hand slot's weapon into that weapon. The weapon's upgrade level will always be your max upgrade level, or half of it rounded down if it's a special weapon. You can just upgrade your current weapon regardless of what it is, and every single weapon the randomizer will give you will set it to that upgrade level. For weapons that can be infused, a random infusion or no infusion will be chosen. As you can see here, there's also an optional feature that adds visual effects onto the weapons, depending on what infusion it has. You can select the weapon categories you want to include or exclude, such as shields, bows, spell catalysts, and everything else. What about not meeting min requirements for a weapon? Simply toggle on the Ignore Requirements feature to properly use any weapon or spell the randomizer offers. Speaking of spells, there's an option on by default that automatically fills all your available attunement slots with spells usable by your current catalysts and stats. If you chose the Ignore Requirements option, you can get any spell as long as your catalyst is the correct type. Other than that, there's just a feature to treat each infused weapon as its own weapon, severely increasing the chance of getting infused weapons over special ones. I plan to add more optional features in the future, so if there's anything you'd like to see in the mod, please tell me in the description. So here's the mod page you can find in the description. Simply scroll down to find the installation and instructions, which will have links to the mods the full version is dependent on. These two mods also allow you to install basically any other mod in combination with mine, as long as it's compatible. For example, the Boss Rush mod. Anyways, simply open up both of these mod pages and download them. Then, open up the folder they downloaded to and unzip them. Now you'll need to navigate to your game directory. You can find this via opening up Steam, right clicking Dark Souls 3, clicking Properties, Local Files, Browse, and then click into your game folder. Navigate into LazyLoad, moved input 8.dll, LazyLoad.ini, and the DLL mods folder into your game directory. DLL mods is where we will put our weapon randomizer mod and mod engine to be loaded at the same time by LazyLoad. Navigate back to your downloads, open up Mod Engine, and move dinput 8dll from there into DLL Mods. Open back up the mod page, go to Download Manual, download the actual mod, and unzip it. Open back up the DLL mods folder in the game directory and move weaponrandomizer.dll into it. Then move the mods folder in weaponrandomizer.ini into the game folder. After that you should be done and can launch the game. I should also however note that if you want to use DS3 boss rush with this, you will have to rename either boss rush's dinput 8dll or mod engines when you put them in the DLL mods folder. Because of how DS3 boss rush was made, You'll also have to open up lazyload.ini and put the same name you gave Boss Rush's DLL into the chain load option. Once your game loads, either Mod Engine or my own mod will prevent you from going online. This is to try and prevent an online soft ban as a consequence of having a modded game, which if you play my mod online, I'm almost certain it will cause one. I recommend you use this mod on a family share Steam account to rid any worries of online bans of your main. As you can see, right as you get in your weapon starts transforming into other random weapons at regular intervals, depending on what you set in the config. You can change the config at any time and it will instantly update in game for you. For example, right here I could have gone into the config and turned on ignore requirements, which would have been useful as I can't use most weapons at this low level. You can also see that spells I can use at this level, such as fair and dart, 
equip on getting a spell catalyst. Not exactly sure what happened here. Now watch as I perform the most epic swap. And because of my mod, it has hitboxes when it normally wouldn't. Thank you all for watching. I hope you appreciated the mod as much as I have, making it and playing it. I streamed the development and testing of this mod over on Twitch, so if you would like to see more of the interesting Souls mod stuff I make, be sure to give me a follow and try and catch my streams. I also post a lot of other Souls modding content here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe with notifications if that's the kind of content you're interested in.